Hi, I'm Joe Palmazano, and I'd like to start by thanking you for taking the time to check out my business plan and my business idea. First thing, I will focus on telling you who I am. I'm Joe Palmazano. Like I said, I am a currently a UNL student uh, graduating and majoring in landscape design, which is a horticulture option. My company idea is PM Landscapes, which is a landscape company. We have multiple other services than just landscaping, but we'll get into that later. Uh, how I got this idea, obviously I have a strong background with schooling and landscaping, landscape design, horticulture, previous jobs, and growing up as a kid I was always hands-on, outside, and just love to be outdoors. Brings us to branding. Branding, here's my logo here. You got a wheelbarrow, a couple hills in there, and uh, in the background there's some grass. This kind of gives you the idea that we are an outdoor company, kind of gives you a green feeling, you know, which is exactly what we aim for. Some of the branding items I got with me today. We got a shirt, got the logo on there, the name, and the number to call. We got a yard sign that says Landscape by PM Landscapes. Call today with our number on it. And this will be used, you know, um, just to get the name out there. Someone drives by and sees an install wondering who did it. They know now and who to call. We got a flyer here. With it being fall season, I focus this flyer on fall. Kind of gives you some of the ideas about fall, how we do fall cleanup. It's got our name on there, our number, and just how to get a hold of us. From there, you got customer and competition. Uh, customer is based on demographics. Demographics is based on income, age, and area. Income is important because we need our clients to have, you know, the right amount of money to be spending on service such as landscaping. Age is important because um, older people are more likely to hire out labor jobs such as landscaping than, you know, your younger person, if they can do the labor and do the job themselves, they're going to do it rather than paying for it. Area is important because you got your older housing areas and you got your new developments. New developments are more major installs, brand new, start from scratch, and pretty much just new everything. You got your older areas, and your your you know your areas that have been there for a while. These areas are more likely to just need management and maintenance, which are still you know that's a big part of landscaping as well. Some of the competition that I focused on here, based out of Omaha for the most part, is uh, Earl May. Lanaha, MC Customs, and JKS Solutions. Earl May and Lanaha are two, they're corporations. They're, they're wide scale, very big. So um, they are still competitors, though, and you know, it'd be, it's going to be hard beating them, but you know, you got to set your part away. You got to set yourself apart from them in one way or another. MC Customs and JKS Solutions are more your small companies, but they are still thriving and doing well and accepting clients and you know, bringing in a good profit. Some of the products and services I have focused on, you know, mainly landscaping. Landscaping is big with our company. From there, you know, we also do your lawn care, your basic needs, you know, mowing, fertilizing, stuff like that. Here in Nebraska, you got a very large off season. Therefore, you know, snow removal will be very important. That way, we're bringing in, you know, we're bringing in profits year round. Next, we will be looking at pricing. Pricing is solely based off of, you know, the job at hand. I, I would have a very hard time telling you specifically a specific price as to, you know, a specific job. It depends on everything that goes into it. Some of those factors include, you know, plant material, hardscape material, basically any material that you're using on that job, um, equipment, disposal, you know, hourly wages, what you pay your client, or yeah, what you pay your uh, your laborers and what you're, you're bidding the job at per hour and how many people you are hiring and how many people are working for you at that time on the same job. Reaching into technology. Technology, PM Landscapes has its own Facebook page here. And it's got the link right there below it. Some of the features on Facebook is a call button, which you click on that. It'll pull up our number right away. You can call us and talk with us about, you know, the future job maybe. Um, some of the other things are reviews and photos. And you can actually just update the status and let people know what you're thinking and what's going on with the company. Next, we actually have our own website, too. We've got the link right there. Some of the features of this website would be, you know, photos, our location, how to get a hold of us, and, you know, your, your general about us page, which is, you know, how we got started, who we are, and why we are here, and why we are here to serve you. For reaching further into technology, everyone has a smartphone these days, so, you know, we got phone apps, um, 
Social media is huge, obviously, in, th in today's world. And Square is something that I really focused on. Um, Square is actually a payment method. So if I had my phone, tablet, or anything like that on site and a client wanted to pay via credit card, you plug that Square into my phone or my tablet, and it's kind of an account thing. So they swipe through, and the credit card transaction is pretty easy, and then you just pay and go from there. SWOT analysis. SWOT stands for Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threats. So some of the strengths that PM Landscapes has is customer service, which is very huge. We focus on that as almost priority one, I would say. Um, another strength would be landscape, my landscape design degree, and uh, my experience working for other companies. Uh, my partner that I'd be partnering with for this business is also in the same major. Uh, some of the weaknesses would be the business side of things. I, like I said, I'm a landscape design major. I don't necessarily have the business background, which kind of sucks, but, you know, we'll figure it out as we go. Um, age is another weakness. You know, being 22 and starting a business, that's pretty young compared to some of the other people who have companies that are, you know, well-established. The company itself has more years under its belt, but we will figure that out as we go as well. Um, opportunity. Grow from other people's mistakes, which, you know, that could include clients. But, I mean, I won't necessarily just be learning from them. I will be learning from my own mistakes as well. Another opportunity would be to make money. I mean, that's why you create a business. Make money and kind of add to the world, add to the economy. And from there, that would be another uh, opportunity. Some of the threats would be economy, housing market, and competition. Economy is obvious. Uh, competition is obvious. Housing market is a little different. Uh, it's a bad housing market then therefore the plant cost will go down and landscape install will go down. In conclusion, how I know I'll be successful is the fact that I will be learning from my mistakes and competitors' mistakes. Keeping up with the changes around me will be very important. Important uh, Life is always changing. Good customer service, word of mouth is one of the biggest things you can possibly have, as stated before. Doing the job correctly, which also directs, relate, relate, uh, directs exactly to word of mouth. And from there, that's how I'll be successful at my company.